his last night because he didn't like the other cat. It's the cat. They had ribbon on. This is so sweet. Mm. It's so sweet. And he was abandoned. Nobody wanted you. So we have you. Thank you. My name is Dr. Annie Mears. I'm from the UK. Um, I've been in South Africa now for about five years. I suppose you'd say I'm a mixed vet. I do wildlife and small animals and um, yeah, horses and really anything that lands on the table. Um, so I studied at the um, University of Nottingham in the UK. I did have some difficult times, I guess. I, I struggled a lot with um, some of the later years with the content. It's kind of a, a really intense course and you spend a lot of time um, sitting around studying till late at night and you know it's full time, nine to five every day. So I came to South Africa originally to do wildlife and when I was a student I did a wildlife capture course um, using the medications, learning how to catch the wildlife, learning about the wildlife, about conservation. So when I did that I thought it was great fun and I really enjoyed it but eventually I realised that actually maybe it was more than a bit of fun and actually it could become a career for me. The reason I'm, I'm in South Africa is actually for the wildlife. A lot of people ask me what is so special about Gravestown and I think I don't really know. The clients have been so friendly and accepting and you know willing to like take a journey with me while I get better and, and offer new things and while the veterinary clinic changes and offers new experiences, the people of Makanda have been just very good to me. So it feels like home and I suppose I think if you ask anybody that actually lives here that I think a lot of them would say the same thing there's something about Wakanda that just is it's just home I am a wildlife vet so I've done a lot of wildlife work over the last few years there are so many things you can actually talk about I've done everything from tigers, elephants, lions. I've had zebras in my car. I've had baby giraffe in my car. Now I do mixed practice. So I do small animals, horses, and wildlife. And my days are never the same. The first thing I learned about wildlife is that the wildlife keeps you humble. They never do what you think they're gonna do. Um, they are completely unpredictable. The habitat you're working in is completely unpredictable. It keeps you humble and it keeps you sensible and it keeps you learning. One of the things that people don't understand is that vets have a really large role in the food chain. So we have a big responsibility in making sure that animals are both grown healthily and sustainably on farms um, and without the things that are toxic to, you, to humans. But I also think there's a lot of um, you know behind the scenes things that go on, a lot of care, a lot of extra attention, a lot of work that people don't necessarily see. We just started to start a rock garden with um, painted rocks um, and we've been putting animals' names on it and owners can do it as well if they want to come and, and do their own. Otherwise we painted all the rocks for some of the animals ourselves and then we're going to add them to our new little rock garden out the front. So. I think if I had one message for the people of Wakanda, it would actually be that to do anything positive in this town really depends on us coming together and working together. If we can get the people of Wakanda to get on board with um, being more interactive with their practices about their needs and the needs of the people around them, then I, I do think we can offer better service. <laughs>